Hey you doing guys, Zedai here. So I was never really expecting to play this, but nevertheless I did end up playing. So I played X Defined, the stress test, sort of a beta, and basically the game has not yet been released. I don't think there's even a proper release date for this game. But yet I had some goals at it, you know, I played a lot of quite a few matches in fact. Like I put in about two to three hours, so that's like give or take around almost reaching 15 to 20 of the matches that I've experienced from it. And basically, it's more of a Call of Duty title that you should expect out of this game. Now, this game kept on coming back in terms of like stress test, beta, closed beta. A lot of people already have a, had an opportunity of playing it for themselves. And of course, they shared their own thoughts. Now, I never did play X Defined before. This is my first time going at it. And I want to say that I genuinely had a pleasant experience. Nevertheless, there were some bad things, unfortunately, as such as like the net code issues that some kind of some Delta one situation that kept on kicking me out every time when I was searching for a specific mode. And uh, another one big problem I'm noticing that it takes quite a while for you to get into the game as well. So that is a little bit frustrating as well. I do like the way there's so many settings and varieties that you can actually optimize to your own benefit and of course to your own satisfaction and comfort that is a very big plus i really like that the game in general and how it feels the gameplay front it is good it really reminds me of call of duty games and i think this is actually a big contender being of a call of duty competitor now it really depends how ubisoft will go about this game you know how much are they willing to spend and monetize and of course to keep up with the support on this game and knowing how ubisoft likes to to, uh, continue supporting all of their older titles I'm not really worried about that part nevertheless what worries me does though is how long can this really hold interest for the players now people that like Call of Duty Battlefield and stuff like that well they will find a lot of enjoyment from this game and I think that there is a good opportunity for this game to be big. And to an extent, it did become big. Even the fact that it actually almost, I want to say, stole a lot of the fan base from Call of Duty. A lot of people having a lot of gripes with Call of Duty titles, some myself included, a little bit of a well, skill-based matchmaking, and this genuinely is the worst experience that you can have within Call of Duty titles. And that's actually one of the biggest reasons why I just completely left Call of Duty and I never played them, other than single player and zombies. In this case, what I'm experiencing within uh, X Defined, even though it does seem like there's some sort of a skill-based matchmaking, but it's not as like egregious as it is like was in the Call of Duty titles. And nevertheless, this is actually, I think anyway, a fantastic thing because this means that anytime you're up against an opponent that is a pro, obviously you're gonna get owned. But if an opponent is a newbie or perhaps they don't know too much about the game, you will encounter a lot of those style, uh, you know, styles of play, play styles, right? And that's typical, so basically, the good thing about this, you continue playing through the game, 10 matches, 15 matches and over and over and so on. Skill-based matchmaking doesn't seem to actually pick that up and, you know, I'm purposely uh, match you in with the people that are on a similar skill-based as you are. And I really, really appreciate that because, like, if this would have been Call of Duty and their style of skill-based matchmaking, I don't think I would have been able to even endure playing this game for like after 10 matches because I would have been getting owned all the damn time because obviously it will cater of my skill types and or even higher. And I don't want that. I don't want to have a heavy competition. I don't want to sweat in my lobbies. I want to enjoy my time and play through the game. This game, I can definitely see a lot of people will actually get into. There's a lot of things that you can complete by doing those challenges and basically uh, unlocking new things and sort of rewards within the game. So I can definitely see the hook for like Call of Duty fanatics and people in general. And I think that's a very, very good thing. Now, another thing I want to mention, perhaps it's also a little bit controversial, it is there are some components could be taken from Call of Duty that could be seen here as well, such as the monetization route. It really depends how they want to go about with the microtransactions. Are they going to go season pass and stuff like that, you know, on that kind of route? And is it going to be egregious as it is in Call of Duty going over the price completely? There's like a King Kong gauntlet that you'll have to pay 80 bucks or something. It's 
what is what are they even thinking activision seriously my god and yeah there's i hope none of that is going to be here within this game and if there is just make it sure that it's genuinely only for cosmetics and nothing else now i can't really comment and you know say uh, what i think about individual weapons and how they feel um a lot of my time that i spent i used acr i really like that weapon that i found and i started using it more often and I like the way there's also different varieties of abilities that you actually have within here. So basically how this works is uh, you choose your own hero, right? Your own character and every character in their own uh, category or their group categorized towards one specific abilities that you have a choice of going about. That is, of course, if you want to. And in this case, my favorite was obvious, like a recon one. I don't know the name. I didn't pay attention to that. I just chose most of the time the similar character that I really liked. Basically, it's gave, giving me a recon, like a, a spy drone, like around the UAV, right? Uh, around your vicinity. And you have a big... Uh, like an ability that you can see through walls but in that, in that situation you're only available to use a pistol i really like that uh, ability anyway it actually reminds me a lot of, well it's not really a surprise a lot of these things have been taken from call of duty and call of duty has taken from other first person title games in this case I don't want to say that the problem I was having within this game is negative because I just want to share my thoughts what I thought about it. And in this case, knowing the fact that this game's still not even out yet and we don't know the release date, I still think there's plenty of time for this game to actually get all the proper uh, fixes and crashes and issues. Because unfortunately this game did crash on me twice, like hard crash. And yet also, almost every other lobby that I try to get into you know, naturally matchmaking to the next game, to the next match, to the next game. Unfortunately, there was always this error code, like Delta 1 or whatnot. It was pretty frustrating, but like I said, I think that this is going to get ironed out. It's not really going to be an issue later on. I'm noticing a lot of people also comparing, and obviously uh, it makes total sense since it is very similar to Call of Duty, and yeah, they're comparing to Call of Duty titles. And yeah, there's way, way too much resemblance from it. And perhaps maybe that's why people are, you know, resonating for them anyway, right? And in this case, why they're moving on towards this game. And I hope it does, because Call of Duty really needs a competitor. <laughs> Now, I do see this game being very competitive in general, right? But I want to say that even though I played this solo, I did not play with any friends, not a part of the party or anything like that, it still is playable. So there's no issue on that part. So I don't think you're gonna like completely get abol uh, abolished if you're playing like a team-based games. Perhaps also you've noticed from my gameplay that I'm not exactly great at this game any longer. Man, I used to be so good in Call of Duty titles, and then after so many years I just simply moved on. I never even looked back, and now my aiming is pretty poor. <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a discussion related to X Defined. Man, when is this game actually gonna come out? Seriously, I know I'm repeating myself three times now, but this game was supposed to come out last year, I believe. Am I wrong? Basically, I feel that this game is getting dragged on for too long. And that actually might be a problem. They need to release this game as soon as possible when there's no Call of Duty title in the horizon. Or hell, maybe they even would release it right after the next installment of a Call of Duty and perhaps that's the case like what we have seen with Modern Warfare 3 released back in 2023. Actually, well, the game ended up being shit, and when X Defined got that closed beta, people were revving and talking about this. Perhaps maybe that's what they want to do, I do not know. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.